Um, and I'm going to turn this uh, the moderation of the feedback over to Scott Horstein, our dramaturg who's been working with us on this project. And uh, here's Scott. Okay. Um, so before we launch in, I'll just explain briefly for those of you who, who may not be familiar with the term dramaturg. My job is to be sort of the story analyst or story consultant for the production, to sort of be a mirror back for the ensemble, uh, tell them how I think what they're doing is going to read to the audience and dialogue about what, what are the goals of the piece and how can we get it to where they want it to be. So this is a big part of it. Um, and what, uh, as Ben indicated before the show started, what you saw tonight was not uh, sort of what the piece will look like in the sense of we're not going to have all these pieces of things back to back necessarily. There was sort of uh, a bunch of snapshots of different theatrical investigations that we've done into the notion of evolution in the circus and what that looks like in a theatrical setting. So there were some bits that you saw that very clearly had a story to it with the girl in the mining town and is she going to leave and the evolutionary wonderments and so forth. And then there were some sections that you saw that had no real story to them at all necessarily, but were more sort of performance based. Uh, we don't know exactly how it's all going to fit together, if it's all going to be story, if it's all going to be not story with the performance bits, or if somehow they're all going to fuse together. So for this feedback tonight, we're less interested in, um, uh, in, in hearing about uh, whether it's sort of thumbs up or thumbs down on different sections, or uh, whether this should go next to this or after that. What we're really interested in is just in your responses to the, the individual sections in and of themselves. Something that struck you, something that might stick with you tomorrow if you thought back on the piece. Um, and it could be something just in the theatricality and performance of it, or it could be something in uh, that happened for you intellectually or something thematically that you responded to. Um, and those, those insights will be really, really helpful to us. And once all the cast is out, I'll ask them to introduce themselves as well. So um, uh, just to start, uh, what, what was something that struck you um, in watching this performance? Yeah? The, um, the way the last piece kind of evolved into umbrellas and ribbons really struck me as like a primordial and did it seem that way to you? you well, you were the first person to give feedback with the soundtrack. <laughs> 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 uh, and, and did it strike you that way uh, because of the voiceover, or do you think it would have struck you that way without the voiceover? Um, it, the voiceover, I think, definitely let me so share. It, it, helped, it helped you give, a, give a, a way to look at what you were saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay, great, great, great. Um, something else that, that uh, might have struck you? Yeah. I was intrigued by the idea that there's, with, with the girl having the glowing jeans, mm -hmm. and the, the idea of that there can be something unusual and weird about someone that you don't see that's just kind of... Hmm. That, that, that's a really lovely way of framing it that I, I, that, that, that I that hadn't occurred to me before, that, 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 that just an, on sort of a character level, the idea of, of someone who's got something hidden that no one else knows about. That's really helpful. Thank you. Um, something else that might have struck you in one of the little scenelets that you saw? Yeah. Well, there was two really interesting instances of reversals. One is in the opening when the aliens of the other sentient life are avoiding us. <laughs> and we tend to think we're pretty like human centric. Like, oh, they want our planet. Or they want to make us slaves. <laughs> Instead, it's like they don't want to have anything to do with us. I thought that was really interesting and compelling, especially since it comes to the beginning and sort of mm. seems to foreshadow what's about to happen, especially the second reversal, which is that the thing that makes her genetically abnormal makes her desirable. Right. Um, whereas, like, typically, I mean, I would think that, like, the status quo is that if she's, like, a genetically abnormal, it makes her undesirable. Right. Um, so I think those were two really interesting reversals. Yeah, that's great. And the word reversal is, is really helpful um, in, in, in helping us understand that those are things that, that you've started looking for or, or enjoying when they happen. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, now that we're all here, I'll just ask the cast to briefly introduce them. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm Caroline. I'm Deborah. Lisa. Kurt. Brian. And just a, a quick hand again for the cast. Please. Yeah. Great. Uh, other things.
things that, that struck you, something that you saw and that you, that you responded to and that sort of stayed with you? Yeah. Um, I missed... I came in somewhat late, so I missed the, the whole storyline that was being delivered. But I, I did really enjoy um, uh, the part that been narrated with the actors uh, rising on the ground and going through the progression of the evolutionary mm -hmm. possibilities. Uh -huh. So yes, that was quite enjoyable. And, and and I'm sorry, it was just ahead. very engaging, every, every single one. It, got, it kind of had me captivated in just watching the development of each person on the floor and what they were going to be taking on. So mm -hmm. I just... And you yeah. made some great noises. Yeah, I enjoyed the participation as well. <laughs> but, but so it sounds like there, there was maybe even a little bit of suspense in sort of seeing what was going to happen and how it was going to evolve? Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure, for each individual. Okay, that's great. Um, it, 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 the, along with that suspense, were you surprised when Brian got up and was walking and started talking, or was that something that you sort of saw coming? I, I did not see it coming, even though I was kind of watching in the corner of my eye, mm -hmm. watching his response to what was happening. Okay, right, right. Um, but no, I did not anticipate that happening. Okay, so. okay. very good. Good, good. Uh, another response, yeah. In the same scene, I think it was really striking when Brian <laughs> starts talking about trying to see the beauty in things while like there's some kind of predation or sexual act going on <laughs> that like, seems like a little, I don't know, base or whatever. Maybe. I thought it was a really cool, interesting contest. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was very striking. Great, great. Maybe perhaps a reversal, perhaps not, but just going with the, the lovely word that you gave us to begin with. Um, uh, something else that, that might have struck someone. Uh, um, it could be a moment, it could be a line, it could be a thought. Yeah. I was very fond of the freezing in a tableau, doing something totally different than coming back to get to it. Mm -hmm. I, I, have, I haven't quite figured out in my head how that's connected to the theme, mm -hmm. but it felt very, very much evolutionary. Mm -hmm. kind of oh, interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. I just thought of it as a stage device that would bring us back to the next scene, but mm -hmm. now, now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 that, that, that's great, and, and so, so the thing that's nice about the, the, the sort of the, this kind of workshop presentation is we sort of throw some things next to each other, and we don't know if them being next to each other will wind up being meaningful or not, but you're suggesting to us that we should pay attention to other things but up against each other, which I think is really valuable for us. Thank you. Thank you for offering that. Yeah. The whole childbirth scene, which was just phenomenal, and also um, contrasted with Lisa's discomfort around this mm -hmm. riding woman. <laughs> pretty fantastic. And I also really liked the Apple theme, the whole like, Genesis story without, before anything was even said mm -hmm. about the Bible. There was a tweet that went out over the interwebs today about how somebody had seen this last night and had decided to never have children. That's right. It's our own national sterilization. Speaking about what you're saying, uh, that scene, that image of the apple in the mouth, mm -hmm. the feet in the air, it, it, in the quote from Genesis, just made me enraged. <laughs> By the way, that I'm mad that it's in the play, but sure. it, it, you know. Right, right, right. But, but it was potent for you. Yes. Great, great. Yeah. The, it was more, I saw this Friday, and tonight there seemed to be almost even more individualization mm. of each creature. I don't want to oh, Each okay. creature. <laughs> and, and, and that was interesting. Mm -hmm. that, that they're more delineated as different. By creatures, do you mean the ones in the in the mind mm -hmm. scenes as opposed to the? Is that what you're talking about? Any of them, especially so, the writing ones. <laughs> so the great value of actually performing something a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that, that's great. That, that, that that's very useful for us. It's definitely definitely something that we were striving for. So that's good. Um, uh, other things that uh, people have to offer, something that struck you, yeah? Um, getting back to the childbirth scene, mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, it kind of struck me that Lisa looked like she was going to push her away. I, well, I wasn't sure if she was going to push her away or comfort her. Uh -huh. And that kind of, that's kind of what our attitude is towards women in mm -hmm. childbirth now. And I thought that was, I mean, it was just a tiny little detail, but I thought it was very powerful. The, 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 <laughs> That, that's particularly helpful because that, that that kind of uncertainty and that kind of tension is the kind of thing that can really that you can build yeah, yeah. some theater around and, and, and that, so to, thank you for pointing that out. And she had told me I'm Lisa's roommate, so you know <laughs> no favoritism here. But and, she and you came anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> she had told me yesterday that somebody said that they felt that that scene was too aggressive 
And I can see where that's coming from, but I also think that that particular attitude is sort of encapsulated in that gesture that's either pushing her away or comforting her. Like, we don't know how to handle mm -hmm. the reality of it. Mm -hmm. Well, and I, and I do have to say that the person who felt it was too aggressive was my mother. Oh. <laughs> 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 she felt it went on too long. <laughs> Labor. Is that how she felt about it when she was? <laughs> <laughs> and I have three siblings. Four of them. Excellent. Uh, any any other thoughts that anyone would like to offer? Something that struck you? Yeah. Well, I disagree with Ben's mom, and I thought it was just fine. Uh, <laughs> I also enjoyed the texture of the singing and and the, the basic feeling of the ensemble. Uh, versus the more individualized moments that came out, I thought that was that was a fun interplay for me to to have that richness that the ensemble brings, and they have a richness, but then to clear out that richness every once in a while and just be able to focus on something mm. very simple, very small, very individual. So mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. Okay, so that, that's a, a balance perhaps for us to continue to pursue. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. When we're introduced to the Sky Harbor story, there's a few different things going on. There's a voiceover, and there's music, and there's very energetic dancing going on. And for me, they weren't syncing up with each other. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Sky Harbor story was, I like the sort of pitch tone of it. It's mm -hmm. really cool. And the music just wasn't matching for me with, with